Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Station Years. In the previous episode we learned how to heat up gas. It is a very slow process with just one machine and it sucks up a ton of power. What I would like to find out in today's episode is how to actually utilize this circuit board, the airlock control. So the best thing I believe we can do is just try to hook this up. We're gonna need a couple of things to make this work. Now, thinking about it, if this room right here is pressurized, uh, let's imagine we have this closed. Actually, let me hook up the other door here, so we kind of have this finished. I'm gonna have to take apart a couple of things once again to make this work. Let's actually order a couple of things. We're gonna need another active vent. We're also gonna need a passive vent, thinking about it. Passive vent right there, and we're gonna need a whole bunch of cables. Let's go with 20 or so. Let's start hooking up a couple more things. I'm gonna need a junction right here in order to hook up the data slot. Something like that should do the trick, but then also we want to hook up this other door and of course the machine and the active vent we're going to place. Power and data both are hooked up. Now we just have to make sure we can hook up the active vent and also this console. I would like this console to be actually in the dead center, so I'm gonna end up taking this apart. I'll take my welder and uh, can we fix that? Yes, indeed. So console, you go right there with the circuit. And then I believe we have to take a glass sheet in order to complete that, if I remember correctly. So let's see. Yes, indeed. Oh, there we go. Now we have a screen. Great. And what we actually need right now is the data disk we saw in the previous episode and we didn't really have a use for it. If I enable this, we can see there is a console error. So what we have to do is take this disk and insert it, and then you can set up a couple of things. Okay, so that is interesting. Let's actually name a couple of things. For instance, the airlocks. We have an airlock inside, and of course we have an airlock outside. Then we have the airlock console. And what else do we have? We need another active vent. Here we got our active vent, and of course I'm gonna also need some tubing. Ah, oh, let me think about that. We probably want to go out of this block again. Let's place the vent like this. This should be good. I can easily hook it up with the power. It should be set to outward, because we want to suck out whatever oxygen mix we have left here, and pump it back into the station. So let me just go ahead and actually hook this up as well, so we can utilize it. And now we need a couple of pipes. Let's start right here with a corner facing us that's actually going to be very easy to hook up. I just have to come all the way over here and maybe we can set up the vent just above here. So just another corner facing down. This should be a good spot for the passive vent. So let me quickly reattach these sheets one more time, hopefully the last time. And I want to add my passive vent right there. This is pretty much perfect. But let's also rename our active vent here. This is the airlock active vent. Okay, so from the looks of it, at the moment, I have a little bit of stuff here. So maybe let's just enable the vent system right here and get that stuff out of here. What? The temperature is 1,900 degrees? Are you serious? <laughs> Why is the temperature so high? Maybe using my welder wasn't the brightest of ideas in here. Okay, the gas is out of here. Hopefully we also got rid of that uh, ridiculous temperature problem. Now let's actually take care of the airlock console and find out what it is about. Ah, thinking about it, we probably also need a gas sensor in order to detect when we sucked out all of the gases from this chamber. Okay, that's fine with me. We can make another sensor. Construction kit sensors. I have become pretty good at finding stuff by now. Here we got our sensor. I'm just gonna place it right there. It needs to be a gas sensor, obviously. So we need a little bit more cabling here, a four-way junction, like so. Perfect. And this is going to be the airlock sensor. Okay, now hopefully things are gonna make a lot more sense. We have the airlock sensor. Well, let's just click everything that kind of belongs to the system. The active vent. We have airlock inside. But that's not exterior, is it? We have airlock outside. There we go. Okay, okay, stuff is happening. I just selected all the components that belong to the system. We selected the sensor, then this active vent and both of the airlocks. Okay, what happens if I remove the disk now? Cycle to interior emergency override and the meter for the kilopascals. So let's cycle, pressurize. Ah, okay, so... Ah, but it got it the other way around. Yeah, I think this is the other way around because if we cycle, then it's going to close this door, then it is supposed to pressurize. No, it is just opening up. 
And if I cycle through here, then it is closing this door and it's starting the vent. Okay, yeah, I think it's doing it the other way around. Look at that. Airlock inside is marked as exterior, but it should be interior. And airlock outside is the interior. That's really bad. Darn it, this is really confusing to me. I might have to take a few things apart. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm just gonna take apart this airlock and switch it the other way around. It's gonna be slightly agonizing, but what you gonna do? So there we go, it's still in the same place, but right now, of course, it's not hooked up anymore. Now, let's see if something changed. We have airlock outside, which is still marked as interior, and we have airlock, which is marked as exterior. Ah, that's such a pity. Why is this happening? I'm gonna try with a fresh start for both of these airlocks, and we're just gonna hope for the best. So if I place this right here, what is it labeled as? Airlock exterior. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now we're talking. And we also have airlock interior, which now is the correct one. Good, let's take out the data disk and see. Uh, cycle to interior. So it's closing the door, then it's pressurizing my stuff. So it's waiting for me to have the same pressure in here as in the base. But you know what, guys? Let's just freaking test it out. Why the heck not? I mean, we should be able to do it, though we are lacking a little bit of power, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for daytime. As soon as we hit daytime, we're gonna enable all of the machinery again. At the moment, we should still have enough stuff in here. Well, only 3.6 megapascals. That might not be enough to get us to 100 kilopascals. But we should still be able to at least test it. Alright, there we go. The sun has arisen. It's time to pressurize the base. And of course, we're gonna do that with the save game first. Let's go ahead and enable the air conditioner at 20 degrees. Hopefully that's gonna go all well. At the moment we still have a couple of other gases in the air, probably from my welder, but not too too many to be honest with you. I think we can risk it. But that reminds me that we probably have to make a system in order to kind of recycle the air. So it is constantly being refreshed and we don't have too many toxic gases in here. And I'm actually kind of curious to see what kinds of electricity we're using at the moment. So we're using 575, but we're not producing enough, it looks. Though these guys seem to be charging up, right? We might need another solar panel, guys. And a better battery, of course. Don't worry, we're gonna get to that. So yeah, it is nice and warm in here. However, this is taking so freaking long. I'm kind of thinking to rebuild the system so that in the beginning we're getting cold air, but we're filling up the pressure way quicker to 100. And then we just recycle the cold air again through this filter. Yeah, look at that. Even with the system running with the sun, we are still charging up. So that's good. Let me actually now try to exit the base. I mean, theoretically, it should still work even though we don't quite have the pressure. Let's see what we should be seeing if we activate this, cycle through. This door is gonna close and then all of the pressure is gonna be sucked out. And very quickly, look at that, it actually worked. We can now go outside. Okay, that's great. Let's see if it works the other way around as well. We're gonna cycle through here and what we should be seeing is this door close and then we should be getting some pressure in here. And of course it's programmed to wait until we have a pressure of 100, which at the moment we clearly don't have. So we can simply cancel for the time being and do it like that. We might actually be able to do this, guys. We just have to make sure to find a way to recycle all of the alien gases. So maybe let me actually bring over this uh, nitrogen tank. We want to fill this up again. I'm gonna cycle towards the outside. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is actually pretty quick as well. So we can just go back to our balcony and actually put this onto the connector. There we go. We should already have a little bit of nitrogen in the pipes. Let me actually see. Yeah, we definitely need to take this oxygen tank with us. Uh, how much do we still have in the pipe? Over three megapascals. That's not too bad. We can utilize that. Let me already bring over this oxygen tank inside of the base. And we're gonna wait for the nitrogen tank to fill up some more. Oh man, look at that. It is working, guys. It is freaking working. I just can't believe it. But now I probably don't want to use the welder anymore in the base. Well, we can always extract the air. It doesn't really matter. Power is now the next most important thing we need to be after. Okay, it looks like the pressure has distributed itself, which means we can take this tank with us one more time. I definitely need more nitrogen than oxygen at the moment. I'm gonna put that in here as well. And do we have the space... Yes, come on, let me in, let me in. Ah, there we go, cycle. <laughs> yes, I did it. 
and pressurizing. Now, of course, that is not going to work once again, so we just cancel. We bring over the oxygen tank right there and nitrogen for some more good mixture. Let's add that and add that. Great stuff. And we're going to enable the gas mixer as well. We can actually check how much do we still have. Tons. And you can see it is filling up now. Yes, yes, yes. Give me all that pressure. I can probably leave this oxygen tank right here for a bit, but the nitrogen tank is going to be emptied out in just a second. Yep, there we go. Nothing in it anymore. So we can take this apart again. And we will bring our two empty tanks back to the filling up system. Come on, close the door. Yes, thank you. Suck out the air. I love it. Oh, it is actually pretty dark at the moment, so we need to be careful. It just turned nighttime. I probably want to disable the system overnight. It's just way too taxing on our power. Let's actually make it inside the base before it's too late. Cycle. Close, 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 please. You can do it. There we go. Uh, how much power do we have left? Ah, still half of it, basically. So uh, let's uh, disable this for the time being. We are gonna live with the pressure we have at the moment. We can even open up the helmet already, I think. Open mask. Yes, no errors whatsoever. So that is pretty good, I would say. The next time we probably have to take care of our power issues. And also, we need a way to recycle the gases, as I said. Alright guys, the rest of the time I would like to dedicate to some more beautifying. Thematically, it doesn't make sense to start anything new in my opinion. So we're just gonna spend a couple of minutes doing a little paint job or so. I thought for the base we could go with a black and white theme. Now let me see what happens if I do the floor in black. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Let me just uh, start painting a little bit here. It's actually using 5% of my spray paint. Yeah, I think this would make for a good look if we had the floor and maybe also the ceiling painted in black. Let me see if we even have enough spray paint for this. Probably not. Yeah, we're lacking just a little bit and it did get a darker. So maybe we also add a couple of lights. Now spray paint, if I'm not mistaken, I also have to use a specific machine. Kit lights. Let's actually print a couple of those. So let me see. We're probably going to go with four, one in each corner. Yeah, it really is too dark. We're also going to need a switch that actually controls all of the lights so we can disable them during the daytime. Or we actually even use the daytime sensor in order to do that. My power is low. Grab a charge. There you go. Are you happy now? There we go. My lights are finished. Let's pick them all up and let's see. Where do I want to add them? Unfortunately, they don't go on the walls. So I guess let's take apart this wall. Hopefully for the last time. I said that like 20 times. And we're gonna have a light right here. Can we have this symmetrically on the other side? Yeah, I think I had it right there. Hold the phone. This needs to be facing the other way. Come on, turn around. Thank you. Now, where are we gonna place the rest of it? That is a good question. You know what? I think I'm just gonna have a single light source here at the end on the floor. It's gonna look ridiculous, but what you're gonna do? At least it is going to be bright again. Yeah, there we go. This one is even easily hooked up and the other two, I guess... I can also do in some way or the other. Let me just quickly do that. Hooking up some stuff. Oh man, stuff is going wrong. I think I have a leak somewhere. Oh, that's not good. You shouldn't cycle through that. Okay, my tablet says everything is more or less okay. But that freaked me out a little bit. There we go. Two of three are hooked up. It's just one more to go. And I think we got the pressure under control. Oh, now I have a slight problem. I cannot open this up anymore. Don't do this to me. Are you saying I now have to wait until we have 100 kilopascals of pressure in this room? Because that's not gonna happen anytime soon, is it? Yeah, this is too much for me, but at least the lights are working, you know? Oh yeah, if we have those guys turned on, we might not even need our helmet light. Look at that. Oh, finally! Okay, we actually did it. And I guess we wanna fix this. There we go. Is everything fixed now? I think so. Okay, at the moment we're still using the oxygen mixture we have here. We still have over 4 megapascals, so I do not worry. Slowly but surely we are filling up this base and eventually it's going to be pressurized with 100 kilopascals. Just what we need. I still feel it's slightly too dark in here, so maybe we can actually have another light here. No, I forget. I cannot put them on the wall. It's just so disappointing. Yeah, I'm probably still going to end up using the flashlight. It's just uh, too convenient in my opinion. And there's just too many dark corners, but a little bit of light cannot hurt. And I believe it doesn't even utilize too many watts of power. So we should be good, generally speaking. 
All right, I would say with that sunset, we're actually gonna wrap up today's episode. I thank you so much for watching. I know this one was a short one, but thematically it just makes sense to wrap it up right now. And the next time we're gonna tune in again. Uh, let me know what you still want to see from this game. But other than that, have a good time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye bye.